Gerald Lucas here with another installment of Ask Gerald, where you get your real estate questions answered. Today's question comes from Jimmy. Jimmy writes from Kearney, New Jersey. Jimmy writes, I'm looking for a partner for a fix and flip property that I have under contract. I spoke to someone who's interested but expects to make a lot more money than I think is possible given the comps and the estimated rehab cost. What do you think? Jimmy, this is what I think. I think you should thank this guy for his interest and you should run from him as far as you possibly can. If you and this potential partner are not on the same page, um, in terms of the basic elements uh, of the deal, you should not partner with them at all. So flipping houses is not rocket science. It's based on uh, a simple set of basic math that revolves around the price that you pay to buy the home you're going to flip, your estimated rehab costs um, to rehab the property, your estimated holding costs, which is the money that's going to cost you to maintain the property while you own it, and then the after repair value of the home, which is what the property is going to be you know, worth, what you estimate it to be worth based on sold comparables, what you're going to sell it for, right? Those basic things. That's it. If you're not on the same page, you shouldn't partner. And what this guy sounds like, he sounds like he's playing what I consider, I've been doing this for over 20 years, one of the most, he's playing one of the most dangerous games that I've seen many investors play, which is the, um, you know, the game, which is how much money I need to make on this deal. Very dangerous game to play. Um, you as an investor don't get to decide what you're going to sell a property for, how much profit you're going to make, etc. The market always decides that for you. Right? So you don't get to dictate that the market does. So your friend wants to make more money, but he can't manufacture more profit. Right? The deal is what it is based on, on the numbers. Now, what you can do certainly is buy the property as cheap as possible. That's really the most important thing. Then you want to make sure that your after repair value, what you expect to sell the property for is, you know, based on real accurate recent sales comparables in the area. So you get an accurate picture of what's, what it's going to sell for and that hopefully your um, estimates for rehab costs and holding costs are realistic and that they incorporate enough um, slack in them to account for unexpected expenses and outcomes. So again, everyone doesn't make a good JV partner. This guy doesn't sound like he would, so you want to move on to somebody else. Make sure you do your due diligence. Good luck, Jimmy. For more real estate information and tips, visit my blog at GeraldLucas.com. I'm Gerald Lucas, and I'll see you again soon.